Okay guys, good morning. This is Rowdy Yates with High Plains Biochar. We are here in Laramie, Wyoming, and we're getting ready to do a longer run with the Continue Tiki. Uh, our goal here is to kind of demonstrate the labor savings uh, for this particular model. Uh, basically, we're going to load this about every 15 minutes. It'll probably take us a minute or two to load. Uh, but aside from that, we're going to be working on some other things here at the shop, and uh, this is just going to be running on its own. And then the unloading process is also much uh, less labor intensive here because we have the auger and quenching uh, automated here on this particular system. So anyhow, that's what we're going to demonstrate here today. Um, it's a nice, beautiful day here today. Uh, right now we have no wind, so you'd be okay to burn just about anything you wanted to, but we do have some dry grass uh, here behind us. So if we had an open uh, Contiki style kiln, we probably wouldn't be able to do that once the wind kicks up later this afternoon. Uh, but for right now, we're really enjoying some nice calm winds here in Laramie. And uh, we're going to go ahead and fire this guy up and uh, show you guys how we make some biochar with the Continue Tiki from High Plains Biochar. So here we go. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and load wood. So this will be our first time that we've loaded since our startup. And I wanna show you guys, you know, this only takes about maybe 30 seconds or so to go ahead and load this wood back into the fire. Last few pieces, and that's it. Now we can go back to work for about 15 minutes. All right, guys, so as you can see, we're up over 700 degrees. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit more fuel here. We're just about to the end of our four hour run. We're going to run for about 20 more minutes, and then we'll uh, wrap up and do an unload and see how much biochar we made. All right, guys, I want to show you one real advantage to this setup compared to your regular Contiki. So if you look over here at the flag, you can see our wind has just kicked up. We've got a lot of dry grass just right here in the general area. Very high fire danger out here right now. I wouldn't be caught dead having an open Contiki out here burning right now. You could easily have embers and flames getting blown out here and start a fire. But because we've contained the fire with our continuous Contiki, we can keep running. We don't have to worry about that risk uh, because our fire is not exposed. We don't have sparks and stuff flying out all over the ground. So I want to that's just one big advantage to using this continue tiki as far as being able to control the emissions by covering it but also control the fire danger all right guys we've wrapped up we've been running for four hours so as you can see in here the fire's calmed down everything's really done burning so it's time for us to go ahead and do our unloading this is where we save a lot of labor uh, compared to the regular contiki because we quench and we unload all automatically so we don't have to actually do that ourselves so here we go. Uh, we're going to go ahead and kick our pump on, get some water flowing up into this so it'll start uh, quenching the biochar. And then here in just a second, we're going to kick the auger on and the vibrator. So I'm going to get, uh, as soon as the vibrator gets on, I'm not going to talk anymore, but uh, we're gonna, then we're going to spin you over here and watch you unload. But uh, here we go. We are going to uh, make some biochar real quick. All right, guys, so here we go. Our biochar is starting to come out now. It's fully quenched and ready to use. All right, guys, so we've wrapped up running our continued tiki. Uh, as you can see, we've got a little bit of a breeze out here. It's a, it's a red flag warning day. We had a little bit of wind earlier in the run, so you couldn't even have run a, a, a regular con tiki uh, kiln on a day like this. But today we were able to run the continued tiki. Um, we showed you guys how easy it was to load. We showed you guys how we controlled the emissions by covering it. We showed you guys how we controlled the fire risk by covering it. We just showed you how to reduce the amount of labor involved. So that's something I want to talk a little bit about. And, and today we've had a, we ran for four hours, a total of five, including our startup and shutdown time. So we basically, we had about 45 minutes of actual labor running this machine, including startup and unloading. So that's how much labor we've saved because we do not have to do any of the unloading ourselves. We don't have to do any of the quenching ourselves. It just comes out as perfectly, completely cooked biochar, um, really nice. And as you can see here, so today we ran 
250 pounds of wood waste. Uh, we were running basically just sawmill waste, dried sawmill waste. Uh, we turned that into about 40 gallons of biochar running for four hours. This, these 40 gallons of biochar probably weighs somewhere around 50 pounds uh, or thereabouts in actual uh, biochar itself on, on a dry basis. So that's how easy it is to convert wood waste into biochar using the Continue Tiki. And we've reduced the labor, we've reduced the fire risk, we've reduced the emissions, uh, and we've reduced the amount of water that it takes to quench the biochar. Uh, we've really made a lot of improvements over your traditional Contiki, and we think this stove is gonna be really, really popular around the world. But for more information, reach out to uh, High Plains Biochar.